Good morning, afternoon and evening my crazies. My name's Angela, I'm the crazy poppy lady and welcome back to today's Whips, Bits and Chat. Come on, let's see what I've got for you this week. just a cheeky one before we start off thank you for coming in and spending your valuable time with me today if you have not subscribed yet why not it's free i like free <laughs> so click that subscribe button and don't and remember to click the bell and click all that way you will see every video that goes out and if you like the video i really appreciate a thumbs up as well right let's see what i got for you today Right, so as I always do it, I start off the video with the most boring bit, which is the video roundup. <laughs> this week I've got two videos out for you. The first one was a book review. It's A to Z of a Crochet by Search Press Classics. The link will be in the i button up there if you haven't had a chance to see it yet. The next one was one of my uh, tried and tested. I believe this is number seven. And it is Christmas Crochet Ideas. Now, if you've been a long-term um, subscriber to the channel you'll have seen all of these patterns previously but if you haven't it's definitely a good place to start and then of course jump over to the 12 days of Christmas playlist for even more ideas there's hundreds of them no not quite hundreds <laughs> but there's quite a few there um, I've had some really lovely feedback on both of those videos this week so thank you ever so much to everybody that has commented um, can't wait to see which book I get out for you next week because there's a list of them that I've already got recorded and some more ready to go. Okay, so of course last week I told you my back went. My back still was not happy on Monday morning. So I sat down in my normal comfy chair, got it to the point where it wasn't saying hello I'm here, stabby stabby pain, pain, screech screech, sweat lots. <laughs> and um, looked over at my crochet bag to see what I had close to hand that I could grab and the only thing I could grab was a black and red yarn yes you saw me roll my eyes whilst closed that meant I was back on the poppies and so I started crocheting poppy fronts I then actually came upstairs and spent some time on um, Ursula's live and then I jumped over to um, Kelly at I bring it every day and jumped on her live now during her live I was actually making poppy fronts because this chair was uncomfortable and it meant that I could look down pull faces and swear without verbalizing it so nobody not even them lip readers could see me swearing but got through the lives and they were absolutely a fun and giggles all the way through I thoroughly enjoy Mondays um, and then I went down back downstairs I was like that's it I'm done the chair is too uncomfortable I can't sit here I went downstairs and carried on going with the poppy fronts now I've got a sandwich bag <laughs> we're talking one of the larger ones and every 10 poppies I collapse them down and put them in the sandwich bag put a little mark on the sandwich bag so I knew that 10 had gone in and I kept going and I kept going and I kept going and by the end of Tuesday I've looked down at the sandwich bag and there's a hundred in there and I thought okay enough's enough I need to come upstairs. I know I've got a stash of leaves floating around somewhere that I have had previously made. So I'll grab those and I'll start putting these together. Box them and and add them to this year's count basically. Which is sitting at 400 and that's where I was going to stop. Because my overall, overall total was hitting 3,000. Had hit 3,000 at that point. But then I sat there and I thought, do I really want to hold on to these things for another year? Because I wasn't getting rid of them until Saturday evening <laughs> right? 
oh Saturday daytime I should say I've just got rid of him he's just gone and I sat there and I thought no do you know what I'm gonna get rid of him I'm gonna see how many of these I can put together and add them to the count so I've come upstairs and whilst hunting for that bag of leaves that I still haven't found I found the 50 that I'd made when I was over in Australia and the to and fro from Australia so I took them downstairs and added them to the bag <laughs> I was like bonus 150 and at that I sat there and I thought right do you know what it's time to put them all together so for Wednesday Thursday and Friday I was putting them together once I'd finished it I counted up the time that they take just rounding it because I know that 20 minutes if all the stuff's in front of me I can knock out a poppy every 20 minutes it worked out that I'd actually spent 53 hours of this last week gone making poppies 53 hours and you know what cheeky Andy said to me he goes do you think you get another 150 done this week you can imagine it he's not used to hearing me F and Jeff and I just looked at him and told him to bog off politely <laughs> he went okay fine are you gonna carry on going I said look I'll make a few I'll try and round it up to the 100 so that I'll come in with another mid a mixed box of like 50 but um I'll just have to see how I'm going because my hand feels like it's falling off <laughs> he did giggle but um he's left me with lots of brown boxes which sounds a bit strange because normally I put them in the box ready to go for the display whereas he only had brown boxes and two of the display boxes for me last year so he's this year they've got new display boxes they are super cute look at this so this is the box that you're used to seeing my old blue box box old faithful the new ones I actually like the colour on these these are the new ones it's a a light blue look at the display on that it's just a shame that he took the full boxes so I can't show you them but um, there's uh, plenty of photos on the channel of the poppies over the years right so um, while he was here we was just standing chatting I've opened the, bo the brown boxes up I've opened up the ones that he had of these and I started counting out the poppies and he looked at me and said what are you doing I said well you're here I might as well save you a trip come on grab a box and help he's looked at me he's gone all right then <laughs> so between us uh, we pop um, we boxed up the 550 that he was taking away with him today so that was it well not he didn't quite take 550 because we just bo boxed them in 60s so he had a box of 180 I'm gonna have to do the math on this a box of 180 and then the rest were these ones that were all 60 per box and so he took all those so hopefully that's 550 might not be he might have gained one out of me because I've got 50, I've got nine sitting downstairs <laughs> they might gain one but um I've still got the count in my head at 150 um 550 so when I carry on adding to them with this next batch that I'm making I will just add that to the original and then anything that's floating around gets thrown in as well anyway at the end because <laughs> I want shot of them for at least a month but I won't do because of course at the end of this month and the beginning of next I will be manning the tables somewhere when he gives me my rota <laughs> so I'll be standing there going take one of these poppies they're cute aren't they um, and sometimes I get asked about them sometimes I don't the locals around here all know about the crochet poppies now I think there's at least one crochet poppy in every house in the area um, so this year the poppies are getting moved out of my local area so you may be able to if you're um, in Gloucestershire you may be able to find them in some shops in Cheltenham and other places and once I know where they're going to I'll um, give you a list so that you can run in on the very first day and grab your poppy before they run out because they are definitely going to be limited this year I haven't got enough 50 hour weeks in me I really haven't now it's time for the new section um last week I asked you to choose between two bags I didn't think this through properly 
did her exercise. But anyway, the two bags that we, I asked you to choose from are either going to be the a unicorn or the cat. Now, in it, each of these, it contains a whip. And the plan is this week, once the count is in, um, I will get to work on making whatever is in the bag. I might have just given it away by pointing. Apologies. So now I'm going to jump over to Facebook, go through the messages and count up the tally and see how we did and who voted what. Right, so uh, let's start from the bottom this time. Our first one in was our cheeky Arita, and she is saying cat. So that is a one vote for the cat. I was cheeky. I did put zero one in the comment here so that hopefully I won't get too waylaid. Right, we then had Ninja come in with cat as well. So that's two to the cat, zero to Unicorn. Not a problem. We come up again and we've got Michelle and his, she has said cats. Actually, she said totally cats when I reminded her she hadn't put a vote in. <laughs> so that's three to cats. Then we come up to Faith. Now, Faith has said cats. <laughs> so that's four to cats. Um, Joe comes in next with cat. So that's five. Then we've got Sharon, uh, da, 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 da. and she said cat, isn't it? So the fact that looks good, fabulous, blah, 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 cat. So she's actually six because the um, they're around the wrong way at the moment. And then Sabrina is the only one that chose a <laughs> unicorn. So that's it. It's six a one. Cat v unicorn. Cat wins. Right, so let's get the cat bag and let's see what you evil tie rags have stitched me up with this week. Right, okay, so I've got a bag of bits um, There's a f in there and here is a, a bag with some yarn in and a book. Okay, so yeah, I know this is Scrap the Dragon. Now, Scrap the Dragon... Um, I attempted to make a, a very a long time ago. His name in the book is not Scrap. Um, the dragon is something else. I'm just trying to find the pattern for you. He's called George the Dragon. And now the book itself is a the a fairy tale guide, the fairy tale crochet collection by Rico Designs. Um, I have a book review on this one, which I will pop in the i button up there. But this is what I was aiming to, I'm going to be aiming to make. Now, I say aiming because this is the one that has only got part of it done. And I know that I may not be able to complete it this time round. And because I'm making scrap with, as his name suggests, scrap yarn. And all the yarn I am using are from projects where I have been using... Oh, I can't even think of the name of the brand. <laughs> it's the Signet Boho. There we go. I got there in the end, which is the uh, same as this jumper here. And um, I'm also going to sneak in the leftovers from the Jackie Jumps. No, not that is the Jackie. Uh, <laughs> from uh, the Junebug jumper as well, although it's a different brand and I believe a different weight, I'm thinking I might be able to still use it because it's still the same fur, it's just a slightly thicker yarn. Um, so all of the scraps, um, I have actually, I will be honest, I've started working on him. <laughs> I got bored, <laughs> so I started working on him. But um, all of the scraps that I have, I will be going into and making him as it stands at present. We've got... A body already made. Now this was the yarn that had been left over from when I made George the Chameleon. So and that's where this yarn came from. And I've also got a head that was done at the same time with eyeballs. <laughs> it doesn't look like much yet, does it? Um, and a tail <laughs> and some wings. Okay, so that's as far as George is at the moment and uh, let's see how much more I can get out of the yarn that I've got left in the bag and 
and it's going to be quite fun to see how far it goes and I will update you next week. Okay, I bet you didn't expect to see this today. Now this of course is my spinny weird looking thingy me wobbly wobbly. And um, today as a thank you for voting um, in last week's Whip Spits and Chat, everybody that voted that's why right, everybody it didn't matter if you voted a cat or unicorn i thought it was a bit unfair to just kick out sabrina <laughs> so everybody that voted last week has been added into the spinning wheel so now i'm going to uh, shuffle your names and i press spin so uh, good luck everybody now none of you knew this was happening um so i hadn't actually thought of a gift as yet but let's see who wins. No, not again, Ninja. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know why I'm saying again, you guys. I've got some absolutely beautiful people that comment quite a lot on my videos. It's the best way to get into my drawers, as you saw today. Everything is, um, the amount of entries is normally very limited. So congratulations, Ninja. You've won yourself a winner-only prize. Check the list and see which one you haven't got. And if not, you might be stitching me up into making another one for this year. Right. Let's get back in front of the normal camera. So there you go. Our cheeky Aragurumi Ninja has won herself a winners-only pattern. Now, Ninja, you know what to do, girl. So, uh hit me up with a message as quick as possible but remember to put a comment in the comment section down below first i still make a jump the hoops and yet i i verified her account multiple times um so, but again congratulations ninja now i thought i had a lot of fun doing this so why not do it again so we've still got the unicorn but this time i'm adding, adding in oh turn you around my melbourne bag okay so we're gonna your votes are gonna count as unicorn or oz <laughs> or if you fancy one in melbourne you can write melbourne as well but Austra um oh, i'm getting all kerfluffled don't i so a unicorn or melbourne that's your choices and they will be the next projects up once i've finished what's in the cat bag <laughs> So remember, pop a comment down below because you never know. I may just spill, spin the wheel on this one as well. Now, last week I did show you an Arigurumi that I'd nearly finished. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't been touched. Um, I realised I've only got white felt at home. I haven't got any black. So I do need to pop out and go and get some black felt just for the eyes. It's just ridiculous. But um, for me to pop out and go and get felt, I've got to drive 15 minutes out. Um, it's not worth purchasing it and getting it sent to the house. <laughs> the post just isn't worth it. So um, I'm holding out for another week until either we go into town as a family, which means I can scam a lift off a hubby to go in and get it. Or, of course, my back is at a safe point where I know that I'm not going to be going ouch if I have to hit the brake or change gear so um it's it's on hold it's not it's not that bad a bigger deal is it <laughs> if we see it next year in one of the bags mind <laughs> just know it's a quick project because i want to get it done and dusted <laughs> oh one last thing hubby bought me a new computer chair ow, 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 ow. <laughs> um, so if you're wondering why i'm a bit lower <laughs> and the camera's not showing as much of the background that is why um my old computer chair was creaking <laughs> it was threatening to break um so i went to my husband and said babe you know that new computer chair you bought he said yes darling i said uh, can you buy me one please because so he said yeah not a problem so ordered me it and it arrived Tuesday or Wednesday and he popped it together and brought it upstairs for me. I'm still getting used to it, mind. But I think it's going to be a lot easier to sit on during lives because it's got a magic step. I can't explain it any other way. But basically, there's an extra padded cushion that's underneath the seat. And I can pull that out, flip it over so the padding's there. And it means that my legs go up. 
<laughs> so, so on a future live I might be sitting back a bit more like this and you might see my knees under my chin <laughs> just because of this extra bit being there it means that I can position myself and change positions throughout the live so that I don't freeze up my back doesn't freeze up again I'm just I've just got to get used to it and at the moment I'm sitting too far forward in it because I'm leaning on the table in front of me I do need to be sensible about this and actually move stuff out from underneath the table so that I can get my legs under fully um, and sit in the chair how I'm actually meant to. I can do it if I'm sitting crocheting. <laughs> okay, if I'm sitting crocheting and I'm not talking to the camera, that's fine. I can handle being a little head right back here. <laughs> but of course, when I'm doing this type of video, I prefer to sit forward um, so that there's more of my ugly mug in <laughs> full, full view for you <laughs> just to freak you out a little bit more so thank you very much Abby for my new computer chair for my new computer room Eek. right I don't think there's really been much else for me to chat about this a week considering it's been poppy 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 so guess what this poppy is going to pop back downstairs to make more poppies <laughs> so I'm going to head off now I will see you all a really really soon Please remember, stay chilled, stay happy and keep crafting. Goodbye, everybody.